So we can figure out to try some new things. Well, let me give them some information while, they, information while, they're, while they're waiting. So, folks, uh, as you might have heard, or uh, I posted, uh, Redemption Process has been nominated for Best Trailer. Uh, we're going to have a big award show in Hollywood. Uh, all that information uh, will be available on my Facebook, Michelangelo. You can go to Redemption page as well. You can go to my Instagram as well. So, there's like 50 different sources to get the information about the event. Okay? So if you want to contact me directly about any, uh, if you have any questions, concerns, or whatever, just please uh, go ahead and contact me, send me a message. Obviously, I got a lot going on, so I can't get to everybody. So please forgive me if I don't call you, if I don't text you back, if I don't message you back. I'm trying to do the best I can. I'm very, very, very overwhelmed. Lots of stuff going on. And I'm about to turn 49, so, you know, I'm kind of like losing my mind a little bit. <laughs> so, baby, Gemini's, baby, Oh. And Nicholas's birthday is coming up as well, so that's why we're going to be celebrating together at the after party. The big 3 baby. The after party. And let me tell you, folks, there's only limited space available. So if you think you're going to wait for the last minute and get in, don't do it. Guess what? Not going to happen. So <laughs> be there, make your reservations, RSVP, get your tickets, do whatever you need to do to be part of the event. It's going to be very, very big, very explosive. Uh, June 19th, uh, the 18th is my birthday, Nicholas. Your birthday is June what? June 7th. June 7th, I'm Nicholas and Tanner's birthday. So we're celebrating May 28th. Our birthdays. Gemini okay. in the house. Oh, Gemini, oh, man. We got, we got another go. Gemini. We got another there Gemini in the house. Put your right. hands up, Gemini. Throw right. oh, your hands up. Twins. You know, it's surprising to me that, uh, you know, on Instagram they, they post all these celebrities that are Geminis. So many of them. Really? And they got these really great. Cool T-shirts about oh. Gemini's being oh, king cool. and all I that got stuff. The, um, did you get? Did you I order? Got the, I ordered the shirt. Legends I knew. Th I want to order the shirt. Legends are born in June. I yeah, Legends are born yeah. in June. Yeah, yeah. I wow. I definitely want to get that. I want to get those. Yeah, yeah. I gotta get cool. one of those T-shirts. <laughs> so if anybody sees it on Instagram, you know the. Get me that T-shirt, man. That'd be a great <laughs> gift. I'm a large. What can we? I'm a large. So please get me the gift. What can we show? Whatever you want to show. No, I mean, like, can we show the trailer? Of can course. we show? Can we show it here? Because yeah. it'll he'll bring it up. Do you? Oh, he does. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, show you could release the trailer. Sure, yeah. we can do that. Well, so you better give me that what's information the website? now, because I gotta put that in the system. I have the. Uh, I don't think. Uh, actually, it's actually YouTube? on uh, Jerry you know, Carter Valley. Trying um, to figure out. I got YouTube. footage for the uh, trailer right now. So, <coughs> <coughs> hang on, folks. Lots to come. Lots to come. If you go to Thankful Productions, it's on there. Thankfulproductions.com. Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah, I then, thought I emailed it. Didn't I email you the trailer? But I, you, I wasn't sure I could show it. I'm going to I'm gonna allow it. For you, yeah, you can get the exclusive. Yeah, yeah that's right, Jesse. You're, you're the man, bro. All right. But, this, that's right. This is Jesse T, man. He's been one of my biggest supporters. Obviously. Here, let me yeah, pass him a stick, for Jesse. Are you really give me the you're stick? a great camera. That's what I said. Give me the stick. <laughs> <laughs> give, give me the stick. The stick follows me pretty. Wow. I didn't know the stick was that long. Lord, help me. Oh, you guys are so bad. I'm talking about the stick on the stick cam, not the stick on the. Oh, man. Mama T, uh, look, it's not my fault. It's their fault. Okay? It's their fault. All right? It's not my fault. They're, they're, they're yeah, fault. if you jump on the Thankful Productions, it's there. What is, what is it? So what we're going to do here, we, uh, we're going to be busting out here live in a few seconds. We're going to be on Instagram Live, uh, uh, Facebook.com forward slash Straight on the Point, The Power of Voices, Jesse Terrero, YouTube Live, The Power of Voices, Ustream, UPeak, Livestream, Periscope. Uh, we're going to also be on uh, Diggy Plus, Google Plus, uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, Reddit, Blogger. Um, and the list goes on and on and on and on and on and uh, it'll reconnect here so I just keep talking because the feed is still going and that's kind of what happens. Trying to reconnect. Yeah, it'll reconnect. And need the Wi-Fi. Yeah, well. need the Wi-Fi password. Oh, should I put the Wi-Fi Let me get the Wi-Fi password. Let's, sure. let's pause it for a second okay. because we got to right. get ready for that. There you go. Right. So let's yeah, we're going to be going on here in a second. Okay, we'll be back. So we'll you be got, back. Did you give so him just the stand by, website? right? Just yeah, there's just www.thankfulproductions.com coming okay. up. Not everything goes yeah. smooth in, you know, in production. Yeah, we're live, baby. <laughs> and I take it um, raw and real. Now, uh, IMDB site? IMDB for me is Nicholas uh, Daniel. <clears throat> IMDB site? 
Both of you, your name? I don't know. Mike, I don't know. Mike has. Yeah, you can bring mine up. Sure. I just, I already gave the information, wait, wait. but I don't have, I think I have AMD, but I only have a picture on it. Right? Okay, okay. Yeah, just uh, IMDb, so my IMDb. Facebook. You okay. know, and, as a matter of fact, could you print out, because I want all the information correct for the event. Can you print out the one of those uh, flyers real quick? No. It's too late. It's too late. Yeah. Do you remember all the information? Because I don't remember. No. What? Wait a minute. What? What is this? I'm trying to get all the information for correct uh, and the names. www.thankfulproductions.com. Uh, Thankful. Thankful Productions. Yeah. Here, you can put my MDB. It's right there. Okay. <clears throat> we got the majesty. Yeah, I mean, I really need that information. Can't you just spit it? Off I thought you would have had it. Because that's what we're going to talk about. I have the flyer on my phone. So I assume that you would have you had all the info. Don't assume it. It's never assume. Never assume. Never assume. Never assume. No, it makes an ass out of you and me. Uh-huh. You can... My bad. Presumptions are a little better. Presumptions is a lot better. Closer. <laughs> well, that's all right. We'll just bring it up here. So well, you didn't where, 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 yeah, just bring it up here. Where's that? Now. Where's it at? Tell me where it's at. On my Facebook, brother. Okay. The invitation, the, the award show. The I know. Game. I've seen it. Yeah. Well, okay. no, I got it on my phone. He can so do that. Info. That way, you just say, you know, you have all the information. Okay. Just, I gotta get you a legend of the morning, Joe. What you wear, a large one? Medium? Large. Does it get involved? Yeah, we're going to have to wear headsets and stuff like that too, right? No, no. I will. Is this uh, what we want to play? Just no, go to, uh, so click on Get Involved. It's going to open up another link. Bang, bang, boom, boom. Go down to Redemption Process, please. And, there you go, on your right. Good, sir. Up, 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 on your right. Click on that. And that's the trailer. Nope, that's not the trouble. Let's try something. Night talk. talk. Is it? That's yeah, the one that has the actual... Yeah. That one starts with the... Uh, well, copy, I don't know about. That's the, the old copy, the original. This one actually has the... Uh, there you are. Okay. Nice picture, by the way. Let's try something. I talk. There it is, right there. Can you blow that up and make it bigger? So that's the after party, and then we'll talk about the award show first. Yeah. And then we'll go to the after party. Mm -hmm. I'm confused because they can't really come to the award show. They can. Everybody comes to the award show. They get tickets. Let's try. Let's try. Let's try. There's still tickets left. They're not sold out yet. Okay. The after party is going to be really tricky. Sir, yes, sir. What is it, 30 minutes? I can't stand with my 20s anymore. That would be crazy. Okay. Be crazy. All right, four minutes, Jesse. Okay. You got the other one for the award show? Let's now. try some. Do you know about the award show by heart? Yeah, it's right there. The, the, the logos are on the no, flyer. Thing, but can you speak off the top? Like, do you know it? No, I don't remember, but if you wanted to hold my phone and just have the flyer here? Yeah. Yeah, do that. Because I'll leave the I would leave the after party up here. You got the after party, okay, so he needs yeah. the award show. So we just pull up the award show for him to, to, to read off, which would be good. Okay. <clears throat> My cans, dudes. They're yours. Get your headphones, man. Okay, so. What, we got a minute? Two minutes? 2.45. Okay. <laughs> We're back, folks. Yes, we're about to do this interview over here at the Jesse T Show. Um, 
talk about the project, redemption process. Uh, we got in the house over here, of course. Uh, What's going on? I think he's nominated as well, director. Nominated for the best trailer, redemption hey. process. That's right. That's it. And uh, so that's why we're here. And uh, so stand by, folks, to get all the information uh, about what's going on lately with uh, with the project and uh, with me and you know everybody involved. Obviously, uh, it's a good time. Uh, June first, right? It's a beautiful day, beautiful sunny day June in California. Well. You know, was out there taking a drive on my way over here to the to the Jesse T show. Come see my man Jesse T. Jesse T, say hello. Hey, hello, hello. There right. he is again. I'm preoccupied. He's back. But you know something? I can do two things at once. <laughs> I can do three things at once. Yes, and, and I've been told I can do four or five things at once, but I get really confused really easily. So mm -hmm. I'm going to go back to this. And your partner? <laughs> oh, he can do anything. All right. Say hello. Hello. That's Lee Michaels. Lee Michaels in the house. What's up? I'm in the house like a child on punishment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on lockdown. <laughs> So we got like 50 cameras going inside this one uh, uh, radio room. Uh, it's pretty crazy. And uh, we're about to start the interview. And, yeah, I thought uh, the radio we're going live, was, uh, I believe. Yeah, right? everything's going to be live. Yeah, everything's live. And uh, Jesse T will go, he'll get in pilot seat and get us going in a minute. So stand by, guys. <laughs> Hello to everybody. Mom, my family back east, Florida. I love you guys. My sister, Chi Chi. Anybody, anybody specific you want to say hello to, Mr. Nick? No, nah, man. What's, what's up, everybody? How you doing? <laughs> Number love. Instagram, live stream, okay. Periscope, and... I got a mic in my face, though. What's yeah, up? and a mic. <laughs> and a mic. I got you can't a mic see me, in man. Come in closer. Come in closer. Come closer. Come closer. Here, <laughs> put the mic down like that. I'm chilling. I'm good. I'm it, right there? Yeah. I'd rather not be on camera. Can we hide me? <laughs> no, you're done. I thought I was doing a radio show where they can't see him. There we go. There we go. We can't see you. Can I even curse? Can I curse on the radio or something? Anytime you want to put that up, you have the Thank right you. to do that. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. <laughs> so you can't walk down with an opera mask. Test you. Set yeah. your mic. Just take that off. All right. Just pass it. Here we come. If you will. What's up, folks? What's up? What's up? What's good? What's up, what's up, what's up? So how does this live thing work? It's going right now. It's live, man. We're just live, everybody. Yeah, people are responding to, you know. You'll see. Saying, live. <laughs> You'll see. It'll yeah. be fun. You'll see. You'll see. Stand by, folks. we got a lot to talk about. So just... <coughs> almost ready to rock and roll. <coughs> Spell your name for me so I make sure I say it right. I C H O L A S. Nicholas. Muhammad and Nathaniel is N A T H A M I E L. Bang, bang, boom, daddy. So happy June 1st, everybody out there in Southern California. Uh, we have a beautiful sunny day. It was a nice little drive over here. With uh, me, myself, and uh, Nicholas and Daniel here uh, showing up at the Jesse T Show, about to do this radio interview and talk about all the stuff we got going on. For real, for real. Oh, Take it away, Jesse. Take it away. Oh, yes, yes, yes. As we move to the weekend, we are happening right now on ThePowerOfVoices.com at www.ThePowerOfVoices.com. Also, hey, we can't forget about the Global Radio Network on the air and everywhere from the community to the world. The Brown Beauty is back on duty. Jesse T's in the house. Jesse Terrero to you, my friends. And you can call me anything. Just don't call me to do your dishes because I hate doing dishes. We got a great show 
lined up for you here. And let me give you some business right here. Download that free app every day because uh, once you get it in there, man, you can check out all the shows we have here at thepowervoices.com. Yeah, that's right. We got about 70 different shows at 24 hours a day. Entertainment beyond your conceivability. And every day from Monday through Friday, right here from 5 to 6, it's me, Jesse T, in the place to be. Yes, 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 yes. We move to the weekend. Another beautiful day here in Southern California. Also, we're broadcasting live for our Instagram Live audience. Thank you very much. Yeah, what's up? Start chiming in, everybody. We've got two great guests, two handsome devils to my right here. Or if you're looking at the thing to the left. Anyhow, they're handsome. Oh, man, I'm glad I'm out of the frame in one of them. I can't compete with these guys. We'll be bringing these guys on in a second. Uh, 25 bucks, okay? Thanks, you got it, all right? 25 bucks. All right, also, we're on uh, live stream. We're busting out on live stream. We're on facebook.com forward slash Jesse Terrero, and we're on facebook.com straight on the point, and facebook.com, the power of voices. YouTube live, the power of voices. You speak, uh, you peak, you stream, and oh, so many more. Good to have you along with us. We're going to get into this show right now because we got no time to waste. I'd like to bring on two very good pals of mine. And uh, first off, way over there yonder on the other side of the room, there's Michael Angelo, actor, writer, director, entrepreneur, handsome guy with a brand new car rolling down the highways in his convertible, whatever that is. It's an exotic car for an exotic guy. Say, what's up, Michael? Yes, Michael Angelo. Yes, 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 yes. absolutely. Jesse and Jesse, you always got to correct him. You always say director. I'm not a director. I haven't directed. I want to direct. Right. I do want to go there. I want to definitely direct. That's going to be my next challenge. Well, that's not what she told me last night. She <laughs> said you directed her. <laughs> oh, oh boom, a bing. But a boom. I got it, right? Yes, yeah, all right. Well, all right, we, we, we do want to talk to and introduce a, a true bona fide and his bona fides on IMDb. You can check him out. He is a director. A D I R E C T O R, not a D I R C T H E R, <laughs> like Michelangelo, but he's a director. Let's bring on Nicholas Nathaniel. That's, That's a good right. name. That's right. That's right, in the house, man. I'm glad to be here, man. Glad to be here. And he's, yeah. uh, you see, directors are always so reserved. <laughs> <laughs> they have to be. They have to be very calm. And yeah, cool. very mysterious. Right, so. and we're also on Facebook over here. You got your personal Facebook up. Uh, I guess that's Michelangelo, facebook.com forward slash Michelangelo. That's Thanks right. a lot. So we're going to have a good time. We're talking about a lot of stuff. We got a, an award presentation coming up, uh, something that we're going to be chatting about there uh, for a, a terrific movie that uh, is in the process of being completed. And uh, you'll correct me if I'm wrong, because I am wrong sometimes, and you'll just correct me. Uh, but the trailer is absolutely kick butt. I mean, it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to blow your socks off. We're going to, and you know, shh, they gave me the opportunity to play this trailer a little bit later on. We are going to debut the trailer right here on the Jesse T Show. For the first time ever, they have kept this thing under Fort Knox. It's it's like at the bank vault, man. They've got like, uh, they've got like 47 uh, pit bulls and 27 German shepherds and the three most vicious animals that God ever created, the most vicious canine carnivorous animals God ever created, three Mexican chihuahuas. Man, they are protecting this, but we are going to be playing Redemption Process. It's a great trailer, and we'll let the guys talk about it in just a second. But uh, Nicholas, is, as I said, directors are always so calm and cool and reserved because they got to be for crazy, talented people like us. You know, <laughs> she ain't that the truth. You know, they got to be like the the right. captain of the ship. Right. Yeah, you see, I told you. He's like, you know, we're gonna calm it down now, man. <laughs> 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 How you doing, buddy? I'm man. good, brother. I'm just happy to be here, man. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. See, I, I love your personality. It's a lot of fun. Your show's great. Yeah. Um, I'm glad for the opportunity. So, oh, I had a good time, had a good drive here, and yeah. I didn't think there were gonna be cameras, so I came in my most comfortable, you know, oversized <laughs> sweatshirt, you know, just to kind of chill. King yeah. cash, king cash. But hey, here we are on the cameras. I'm yeah. happy to be here, and you're you're just great. You're great. Yeah. Well, you know something, you never know when you're gonna come with me what's gonna happen. That's Very for sure. True. Very true. We met uh, at the uh, debut party of the redemption process when you guys first aired it for the public, the teaser. Yes. At the nightclub in, what was that nightclub, Michael? Trevino's. It was in Covino. That was a great place to, to, to do something. That was a great place. Yeah, we actually, uh, we actually filmed some scenes there, and uh, we got really uh, close with the owner. 
uh, Trevino, and uh, yeah, he let he let us use the, his venue, uh, you know. So we uh, shout out to him. Thank you for Trevino's in Covina. And great, it was packed. Line. It was oh, packed. It was to the gills. Yeah. Everybody was. Everybody was up. there. Everybody. Oh Every time you turned around, you saw somebody else. Yeah. Wait a minute. I know you, yeah. right? And uh, it was which amazing. I was actually amazed because I mean, for people to drive all the way from LA to all the way to Covina, right? That said a lot. You right. know, that oh, said a lot oh, to oh. us. That meant a lot to us. You know, for all those people who been supporting us and showed up to uh, Trevino's uh, when we uh, did our red carpet event. Thank you. Uh, we love all you guys. Thank and you for being um, there for sure. Yeah. Thank you, you know, for being really, there. Yeah, we always appreciate you know the support well, we had a lot of fun on the red yeah. carpet out in front it was a it was a lot of fun uh, uh, doing our thing out there and it was a, it was a great event to kick off this uh, this new show called redemption process and and uh, we're, let's we'll get chatting about that in a second how did you guys meet now well first off let's go back i met michelangelo probably oh maybe eh, half a dozen years ago or so uh, mm -hmm. with a mutual friend uh, jeff langton Jeff, my brother, my brother by love, not by blood, because I have no brothers by That's blood, okay. but by love, it's actually better, I yes, think, sometimes. Yes. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Absolutely. And, and uh, you, came to, uh, you came to a fashion show, LA Week, uh, LA, LA Fashion Week. Yeah, LA Week Fashion Week, that's right. And uh, I remember you invited me down, and, you know, I, I like fashion, you know, with a name like Michelangelo. I like all the arts. I like, you know, right. art. I like fashion. I like music. Mm -hmm. I like film. You know, I just, mm -hmm. everything having to do with, with art, I like to be involved and, and check it out and support people. So he comes you know. down, and, and Jeff Langton introduces me to Dalton J. You know, he introduces me, and, and we're having a good time. And I'm looking at this guy, right? He's like, you know, six foot three, you mm -hmm. know, packed to the gill with muscles, and, and he's got those beautiful eyes, man. What are those, those blue eyes, green eyes, right? Those uh, eyes. Look at, man, I just want a freaking date. That's all, <laughs> you know? Um, but Wait, those, those beautiful eyes. Oh, really? Uh, can we <laughs> negotiate that's that's 75? Oh man, you're his pimp daddy? Okay, I like that. <laughs> See, <laughs> that's a director, right? There, there you go, right there. So, anyhow, I said, you know, you should be up on stage there doing the fashion show. I mean, so he was just terrific. We met, we had a great interview there, it was a lot of fun. Uh, and, uh, and then uh, we kind of got to know each other, and, and uh, you were busy then. You, were, you had a lot of things that you were working on and doing, yeah. but man, you have gotten busy since oh yeah for sure i, I mean, mean what just, happened how did just, that explode you know the holidays kind of died down for us you know after we filmed so it kind of got really quiet for us and then you know i you know i get always concerned and i'm like oh my god you know i want to be out there i want to be out there i want to be out there and then after the holidays you know were over and everything i just ramped everything back up and just started talking to people and calling people and and just going out and networking day and night and telling people about the project, showing them the, the trailer, obviously, and just trying to get a lot of reaction and, and, and see what people right. would say about it. And, you know, over and over, the first thing is like, oh, wow, when's that coming out on television? That looks great, you know, great production quality, uh, so on and so forth. You know, I maybe gotten out of thousands, I'm going to say maybe one or two bad reviews. And, you know, whatever. You yeah, know what you're I mean? always going to get the bad yeah, reviews. you're always going to get the bad reviews. And I is. wasn't really particularly concerned because, like I said, overall, I mean, the, the reaction that we're getting for this for this project is just amazing. It's truly Well, amazing. you said a really important thing there. After the holidays, you, you, you ramped it up and you networked and got, got, got on the phone and stuff. I mean, that's really what it takes today oh, is yeah. the connections, the collaborations that you make with other influencers yep. in, in terms of that. I mean, and, and so that really worked out for you because now all of a sudden, what do you got going on? You got a, you got a daytime uh, show that you're doing right now, a reality show that you're in? Yeah, you got I, just things got, going yeah on? I just got casted on a reality show. Uh, we just started filming the, I guess, to see the teaser as well. Uh, from what I hear, it's already been picked up by VH1, which is a good thing. I'm one of the characters in it, so look out for that. You know, I'll post everything and people will see it. And so that's interesting. Yeah, I just did the Elton John tiny, uh, tiny dancer video. I also posted that. You know, worked on the Elton John video. You know, I got a couple of quick three scenes in there. Hey man, you're I'm on the cop, set with Elton in the video. With the Elton video, John, so check man, it out. I mean, come on. Yeah, you know? Elton John, exactly. So, so I just did that, and uh, and now I'm just getting a lot of a uh, really good response. And now we getting this nomination for best trailer. You know, in Hollywood, coming up on the 19th, the day after my birthday, and um, yeah, so man, we're really excited about it. You know, it's just, it's just, I don't know, it's just like the timing and, and the force that's behind it. Everybody that, that collectively we all came together, and and I predicted, you know, I pre I predicted awards. Yeah. I did. I predicted. He knows it. Everybody knows it. There was. I said we're gonna get awards for this thing, guys. Trust me. Well, the first time I saw it, I said, wow. You know, I I said this is really good. This has to be on. 
this this has got this covers a lot of uh, cool stuff and and it covers a lot of topics of 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 of, of, the, of our time right. in that respect. Now, Nicholas, when you got the project in hand and, and you're starting to you know put this thing in your head and you're starting to work it out and start to to get the script going and all that, I mean, did you have an idea? And the direction that you wanted to take this from a directorial standpoint, oh, because you could have took this this in a lot of different ways because of the nature of the topic. Yes. Um, no, definitely. I, I had I have a very specific style, and I went with that approach. Um, I know we both like Michael, Michael Mann and um, Brian De Palma and a lot of the great legends that I kind of emulate myself by. Um, so just sitting down and writing the characters and letting them come to life and letting them speak for me to really develop based on everything that Michelangelo came with and, and the world he wanted to project out there. So it was it was pretty much up right at my alley, so it was kind of fun and I, I mean I had such a brilliant cast, so you can't really go wrong when you have such amazing actors, <clears throat> um, a great crew, and it was, a lot, it was a fun story. So being able to bring that to life and put my take on the world, um, being 10 years you know military myself. Right. And, the whole nine yards. So being able to put that in the world and say this is how I see it, based on everything that Michelangelo, as he sees it as well, it just worked. Well, thank you for your service. First oh, off, thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. What what uh, part of the military were you army. in? Army. In the army. Yeah, ten years army. Iraq, Afghanistan, all nine yards. It was fun. But That's, this is always what I wanted to do. Right. Right. Well, so you were able to bring those experiences and those flavors the, to it. Yes. Now, when <clears throat> now when you were actually thinking about the process of of the story that you that you want to tell. Mm -hmm. um, did that kind of come off the top of your head pretty easily, or did you have a lot of uh, a, a, a lot of misgivings about things that perhaps you didn't want to talk about, or you wanted to talk no, about? Very tomorrow? naturally. I mean, when Michelangelo pitched this this project, this world, this redemption process, um, I mean, you, you you have to talk about everything. So the the monologue in the beginning of the script, like the first monologue, is huge for me because it is expressing how I see the world. So when he's talking about, you know, the corrupt politics and the way that the, you know, how we have wool over our eyes and we don't really see what's going on and we have our, you know, our Facebooks and Instagrams and we kind of lose ourselves in technology, I mean, it's all true. So I'm not scared to talk about real topics. Like the senator, you know, being, he likes little boys. I exactly. Mean, this is what I was okay alluding with. to. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. I mean, all that stuff's okay right. with me because it's what happens. And I'm not scared to speak on it. It does um, have a real life flavor to the trailer. I mean, it doesn't look like a, a trailer that you would see, you know, a typical Hollywood trailer where it's it's really ostentatious and flamboyant and all. This has a little. This has some grit. Yeah, if to it's it. not gritty and visceral, then it's not Nicholas Nathaniel. Right. Um, I, I pride myself on doing real gritty, visceral, just I mean, stuff that you can relate to or connect, like you said. And I, I truly appreciate um, that you noticed that. And thank you. So. so, so when you when you were thinking about the part and you got got the part you're doing, and which is the lead, uh, in in the process of the uh, the repertory company, you're the lead here. Right. Um, in terms of of the direction that you wanted to take that, that that seemed to be something that was kind of in depth in you. It, it, it wasn't a surface kind of feel. If you understand what I'm saying, yeah, sometimes yeah. an actor will bring something and it's very surface oriented. Right. But yours kind of went, your adaptation of this character kind of went deep. Is there some relationship that you that you wanted to bring out when you saw this? Oh yeah, I mean my character is definitely, even though he is a, you know, a fictional character in, in this project, however the fictional character that has so much real uh, life experience, you know what I mean? Stuff that I, I actually have been through and saw for myself, you know what I mean? Right. So I'm just I'm just portraying that, but through a character. Do you see what I'm saying? So there, there's soul, and there, there's a lot of there's a lot of story behind that fictional character, even though he's a fictional character. Right, right. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So and you're you know allowed I mean? you're allowed yeah. to to play with this and let a lot of that inside out. Yeah. That's that's built up in you as as a, as a regular person. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, how how refreshing is that? I mean, it is to me, man. I just want to, you know, like I said, I told Nicholas Nathaniel this all the time. I said, you know what? I don't want to be just an actor. I don't want to be just this. I don't want to be just that. I don't want to just, you know, I don't want to just entertain. But I want to entertain and I want to inform, which is the most <laughs> important part. Right. Because nowadays, I mean, if you're gonna, if you, you know, so everybody's entertaining. Okay, that's all great. But how much real information are you getting? from that entertainment. Right, right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I've always been that kind of, the guy that, you know, 
you see these great big movies and these big budget films and big budget shows and all these big explosives and right. things that are just kind of cartoonish in a exactly, lot of ways. Exactly, exactly. And yeah. I'm not, yeah, I, I, it's not life. Come on, let's right. just keep it a little bit. Yeah, I mean, that's just my style. My style is, again, just like his. I like the grit. I like the realness. You know, I like to raw, I like to put it. You know, show it how it really is. Tell it how it really is. And there were definitely thoughts about it being like a big, grand, beautiful type of thing and California-like. And there was, I right. mean, there was definitely that's what people wanted. Um, sort of Miami Vice-ish of exactly. California. Yeah, it's, not, yeah, it's right. definitely got flash to it. It's yeah. got style. Yeah. It's got class. It's got culture. It's got music. It's got food. It's got entertainment. It's got all the elements. It's got, you know, the TNA right. that the Latino community loves. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, there's yeah, a lot absolutely. of that. And, uh, you know, so, it's just, and it's, yeah, it's, it's... Yeah, and it's still going to have that stuff, but it's a matter of doing it in a more gritty way so it's not a flashy, like you said, Miami Vice type of thing. I mean, right. We've kind of stayed away from going that route. And being part of the creative process from the beginning is awesome because I've been hired for a lot of stuff where I'm just the director and, you know, everyone has their mindset and this is what it is and they already have the script done. So being able to write, being able to cast, I was able to cast who I wanted, able to write in their voice. Right. So Michelangelo, like, his character is so written in his voice. Like, it's so great because it, it, is, it is him. You know, it's, it's him playing a character, but at the same time, there's so much of him in it. All those, all those actors have a part of them in the... In the role. Yeah, hold that thought. We'll talk about the cast here coming up yeah. in just a second. Uh, we're going to be taking a look here in a moment at uh, the trailer that we've all been talking about here, Redemption Process here, of course, with uh, the director, uh, Nicholas Nathaniel, and uh, Michael Angelo, the lead in this great, uh, this terrific trailer. Kind of, it, 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 the only way I can explain it, it is, it is, uh, it is real life portrayed in a very theatrical way, but it has that raw cutting edge where you feel like you're watching a cops episode with a little more direction. And, uh, and there's a lot of twists in this, uh, in this teaser. And the cast must have been great trying to put this cast together. And uh, I know you guys, it seems like you guys were on the same page right from the get-go. In, in terms of this, and that makes it a lot easier yeah, to well, do. Yeah, both Gemini's. That's the funny yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, we were talking about <laughs> we're both Gemini's. Come on, you know I'm, a, I mean? I'm a Virgo Leo. Come on, you know, it was, a bunch you know, of Gemini's. It's, it's in this funny. Place. That, it's funny that you would say that, Jesse, because I mean, to this day, I'm I'm so thankful to this guy, because man, you know, from the moment we met and we just got to talking, you know, and, and I was telling him about the vision and about the project and the storyline and everything, and which and everything was just just like it was just instant. It was clicking. It was a, a, a an understanding. The only uh, uh, friction that we might have had was the power struggle, you know. Yeah, well, I'm the director, so let me direct them. Well, you, you know, you guys have some, some, you had hey, some man, testosterone glass going yeah, on no, there. No, 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 I got you. You can direct, man, but you, you know, know listen to my ideas, you know, because I come up with some doozies, yeah. uh, you know, uh, off the cuff. And you that know was what hard I mean? for me to sit back and listen. I, I, that's something I, he taught me, and, and I am thankful to him as well because at that time I had just come off my feature film, A Landlord. Right. Oh God. Don't tell me about that, man. I am a landlord. My producer stabbed my actor. Oh, you're gonna love it. Jail yeah. and so <clears throat> everything kind of fell through. We were in Crime Watch for Fox, so I yeah. had this gap, a few months gaps where I wasn't, wasn't working because I was kind of depressed from how my feature was. It was in the can, everything was great, right? But then it became a real life situation where he actually stabbed oh. the actor. He's in, yeah, he's in jail now for twelve years. So really, my producer had just won an Emmy. Yeah. Um, what what happened there? Is so we shot the film. About? The my film's goodness. about a landlord who. He's, he crosses the border, he gets caught, and he gets opportunities to kind of go to Hollywood and open up houses and live a decent life. But he wants to be a writer. So the only way he can write is when he kills. He kills by accident oh, the first time. Oh, he's a serial time. killer. Yeah, he kills by accident the first time, gets some pages, and then he realizes... Well, it's look, at, I'd like to take out some of my tenants, <laughs> that's for sure, because they're taking my money out of my pocket more than I can take them out. So I can... Don't, I get, can us I can, Don't get us started with the landlord oh, stories. Oh, man, I'm there. telling but, you. And that's what, I well, got after, him. After we finished filming, um, he got an altercation with one of the tenants, because he really was a landlord as well. He yeah. was a producer. Oh, poor and guy. He, um, stabbed, <laughs> he stabbed the guy. Oh, Real life imitating art. Real wow. life in the, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I had that gap, and then I met my, um, Michelangelo, and he was like, hey, I got this project, and he had been looking for a director for a while, and we just kind of clicked, so that was a rejuvenating type of, like, okay, cool, let's get back See, what this. you needed to have me as a salesman on that yes. one, I'll tell you why. <laughs> I got an interesting real quick story. I, I had this a rap artist, and I had a three-record deal at MCA, oh, wow. all right? And so uh, he always wanted to be a gangster. 
But he wasn't a gangster. He was a kind of wannabe, kind of wanted to be a gangster and act like a gangster, but he really wasn't a gangster. But he wanted to be a gangster because you have to have that gangster image, right? Yeah, he Hardcore, gangster, he really, yeah. it's a thing, right? So so I, I say to him, uh, his name was Michi Lok. That's his, That was his, his uh, game. So we won uh, KGLH. We won all the, the, the daily, weekly, monthly. We were number one, number one, number one, number one. And uh, we produced a video for him and the whole nine yards. And, and I got him hooked up with uh, my guy over at MCA Records, a three-record deal. Lee, a three record deal for a rap artist just coming out of the can in the early 90s okay and so uh, i get this deal and i say now michi please just stay in your hotel room and don't do anything stupid just stay in your hotel room no no problem because on monday we're signing the contract and you're going to have five hundred thousand dollars in your bank account monday afternoon Okay, and I'm going to get my percentage of that. Yeah. So I was real happy, right? So I go to sleep Sunday night, and uh, at, at early Monday morning, at like 4 o'clock in the morning, I get this call, ding a ling a ling when we still had phones, right? Not, yeah, not so this, yeah, you know, ding a ling a ling at home. And uh, Mama T picks up the phone, and she goes, oh, you hear another one, right? So I talked to him, and he goes, hey, hey, man, I'm in so much trouble. I am so, I'm in jail. And I said, what do you mean you're in jail? He goes, man, I got in a fight. There's an altercation. I had to shoot somebody. I'm no. like, what, you had to shoot somebody? He goes, yeah, yeah, you know, and I, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Okay, well, it comes out that, you know, he got manslaughter. Uh, 12 years, and he did six, and he pumped like nine nine rounds into this guy running down the alley on a botched Whoa. cocaine deal. And I and all right, now I didn't know that going in. So now I have to be at Capitol Records right in Hollywood at nine o'clock that morning, ready to go with Michi Loke to sign Lee to sign right. And I, I'm I, and so I go. <laughs> I go there, and they go, where's Michi? I said, well, let me tell you about credibility. <laughs> let me tell you, the cred, the cred is here. And let me, let me, t- let me paint this idea to you, brother. Let me, and and uh, I said, tell you what. Now, look, at, we could have the first multi-platinum million seller incarcerated in San Quentin <laughs> for the first time ever. Now, is that a marketing, advertising? Yeah. And they let me do my whole spiel for 30 minutes. I was doing the dance, right? Doing the whole thing. And they sat back like this, and they just looked at me, and they looked at each other. They know me, both the characters. And they, they go, they go, they go, Jesse, <laughs> you know something? We like the idea. But it's not going to happen. Oh, <laughs> you did a damn good yeah, job, job selling us, right? Oh, yeah. So that's you that's needed crazy. to have. That's the kind of situation. That's a whole hell of a story. Yeah, yeah that's kind that's of what crazy. you needed to have there at that's that crazy. point. Yeah, but but you you fell on something great, yeah. and and so sometimes these adver- these adverse conditions lead to something spectacular. And uh, we're going to play that uh, trailer right now. Now set this trailer up before Lee plays it. So set it up real quick uh, um, in terms of. The, the, the storyline a little bit, just a little bit of what they're going to see. Okay, so I guess in the dark underbelly of Los Angeles, um, we find out, I mean, you have these cops that are decent people, but they're corrupt in the sense that they uh, get theirs on the side, but they get set up. Um, and they get offered a chance by a government ent- entity, kind of the corporation, I guess you could say, the Illuminati type, um, to get out of jail and work for them doing things that the government can't do. Um, so you have a really corrupt senator, you have this whole corporation that that's, has their hands in everything, every pot. You know, they control governments, they control rise and falls, and drug, drug lords, and the whole nine yards. So it's a lot to explain, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, that's good <laughs> enough, man. You know, so much stuff yeah. is like, let's check out, let's check it let's out. Let's check out, check out the video. <laughs> it's called Redemption Process. Hit it, man.
who I am and what I'm capable of. Yeah. That's a pretty good idea. <laughs> Everyone, loves Everyone loves that part. That's actually not the right trailer, but that's one that's not the Oh man, great, great work. That's fantastic. Thank you. That is so that is so uh entertaining and it just sucks you in. It's got so many of the great topics that people are interested in on the internet and people are talking about Illuminati and oh. good cops, bad cops, and the underbelly, like you said, really cool stuff. I great mean, job, in the script, guys. You're talking about, you know, his captain set him up because he wanted to be with his wife. You're talking about the senator who, who loves the little boys. I mean, there's so much that happens in the script where, he, where, he, where the, um, the DAA, he gets set up with them and the dead bodies and he ends up going to jail. I mean, there's so much in the script. It, it really is a great story. And what a great cast right there. I mean, let's talk about the cast. Wow, everybody in that trailer held their own. Yes. I mean, this, there wasn't a weak spot in that cast. Who are some of the cast members? Oh, man. We got Al Marchese. Well, Al, Al is great. Yeah. <laughs> Melissa Santos. She's uh, terrific, too. Uh, Terrell Carter, Marilyn Camacho, who's, who's phenomenal. I mean, yeah. Will Lopez, Guillermo Jorge, who just, you know, he really does. He's such a great character actor. Um, you know, Michelangelo, obviously, it just goes on and on with these fantastic actors. Um, Wilson Ramirez. You know, yeah, he, he's, yeah. Like, and that's not even the full cast. Like, if you go on IMDb and check out the page, you can see everyone that's part of this. And it's rare to come across such a phenomenal cast that would come together and really, you know, like you said, they all carry their own. Right. They all carry their own. Yeah, now, now on IMDb... Uh, that would be your site where they can where they can check out the cast and a little information. Or the IMDb has its own, you have your own page, process, Redemption yeah. Process page. Um, probably it could be quick and easy to go through mine, mine or just look for it, yeah. Okay, so you can uh, go on IMDb, uh, Nicholas Nathaniel, or just uh, search Redemption Process, mm -hmm. and it'll pop up. It'll so pop nominated up. right there, man. Nominated for Best Trailer, you know. Uh, and it's uh, it's going to be phenomenal, June nineteenth. Well, you were you said that you were going to get nominated, but I, I mean this had I to this had to kind of surprise you at some level. No, man, it really doesn't surprise me, man. A lot of the stuff that happens to me and the things that I put together, you know, I kind of envision it, envision it in my in my mind, you know, kind of like manifest it. Right. So when I when it does happen, it just there's always something that's not quite how you thought it right. was or how it, but but it happens. What's that old saying? If you yeah. think it and believe it, you yeah. can achieve it. Exactly. Right. Exactly. And I'm a strong. I'm definitely a strong believer of that. You know, I just basically. The things that are in my mind, you know, and I lose sleep at night because there's so much information in my head that I want to kind of just put out there. Right. You know what I mean? And and I think this is the, the best outlet to do it. Like I said, I want to entertain, but I also want to inform. Well, let's talk about good. the nomination. Now, let's talk a little bit about this uh, award. We've got some information here that uh, you want to chat about that. When is it taking place? Where is it taking place? And uh, can the public go actually see the award show? Uh, yeah, um, I know there's only a few tickets left. That's, yeah, that's they, what I understand. Yeah, they're selling out. It's uh, June 19th in Hollywood. Right. And uh, you and know, this this it's, is a, this it's a, yeah it's ahead. a very it's called the Summer Wars Black and White Bash. That's mm -hmm. that's the name of it. That's the title, and uh, that's gonna be you know by I C uh, F F A. Right. They're the ones that are doing the whole award uh, ceremony and stuff like that. Right. And uh, L J Rivera. That's that's the man who's uh, putting it all together, okay. and he's the one that's given us uh, our nomination, and we're being recognized for for best trailer, which is a shout out to them. And uh, 
it's going to be a great award show, you know, really classy, black and white. Everybody going to be all dressed uh, up, can, can, red can, carpet, you can know, I go? media. Can I, can I go? Come on, Jesse, Definitely man. Right. You know, you've been, you've been, <laughs> Jesse, you've been our biggest fan, man. <laughs> Definitely. Jesse, Definitely. Jesse Terrell, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> give him a hand but most because of, this gentleman has been a, very supportive. Yes, yes. I like very appreciate that. that. I He'll definitely be there. Me. He'll be there on the red carpet if you want to meet Jesse T over here. Yeah, That's man, right. I, I'd love to be out there. It'll be, it'll be a good time, and, and uh, it'll be just great to, to see the show. Now, are you going up against other trailers? You know, I don't really know what the schedule's going to be what like. The, yeah, okay. I don't know what the whole, yeah, I'm not I'm not aware of that. You know, I just got too much money. I'm actually uh, connected because I'm doing the after party, so I'm actually the one producing the after party. Well, let's talk about and, that. And I tell people this is limited, limited space. This is going to be a very private after our party, okay, and that begins from midnight to five. Uh, it's on my Facebook. You know, we've already posted the uh, the event flyers. Right. So all the people got to just go to that and uh, reserve their tickets, man. Hey, Lee, can you do me a favor? Mm -hmm. Can you pull up uh, the Facebook site, uh, Michael Angelo, and uh, and let's pull up uh, the uh, the flyer about that uh, summer award show, the after party show, uh, Michael Angelo, uh, two words. I'll throw it up on my Facebook as well, but I mean, it's also our, it's, it's the after party for an award show, and it's both for our celebration, our birthday celebration. Yeah, man, you guys are like so, multiple birthday babies here, right? Yeah, yeah. June 7th, he's June 19th. Right, right. Well, I'm, I, that's it, man. I'm, I'm, I'm Gemini 2nd. Gemini 2nd. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be a Gemini <laughs> that night. Right? You can be. Join us. Join yeah. us. So, we use a Gemini. Like so I tell everybody, well, there's three reasons to celebrate. We're being nominated for Best Trailer for Redemption Process. Uh, my director, Nicholas Nathaniel, it's his birthday, and it's it also my birthday. So uh, our friends, our supporters, just uh, come out, get your tickets, RSVP, get it done. Go to my web uh, uh, webpage, uh, Redemption Process, which is up now. You can see actual more footage of the show uh, for those who are interested in seeing more scenes of me, some of the other characters in the show that's also on there. Uh, Michelangelo on Facebook, you know, hit me up on Instagram, Angelo3027. The invitations have been posted. It's out there. Word has spread. Get your reservation or you're going to be locked out. So please understand it's very, very intimate, very small, very private, but it's going to be very classy and a lot of fun. So those who really support us and love us, uh, we hope to see you there, for sure. Or, Lee, you can go into the Facebook site and then just search it, uh, Michael Angelo, and his name will pop up. It'll, if you scroll down, it'll be about three or four. It's going to be up on front page on, uh, on our site as well and our webpage at uh, aventertainmentlive.com and thepowervoices.com here uh, right after the show. So you want to get on those tickets because they are going fast. It's going to be one of the best... Uh, uh, beginning summer parties of uh, oh, uh, yeah. of the year. It's going to be a big. I mean, if indication of of your debut uh, showing of Redemption Process is any clue as to what this party is going to be like, uh, and uh, you know, should you guys win that award? Night, I mean, it's that's going to be a great, night. Yeah, great it's be a big night, man. We're really, really pumped up. Really, you know, when really you excited. guys were youngsters, did you think you were going to be doing this kind of stuff? Yes. Did you? Yeah. When I was a kid, man, I, I I was the kid that would sit. You know, two inches away from the television, the black and white. You we're, know, we're turning I, it right because yeah, we was, didn't have the, the, guys. We didn't have exactly, the click exactly. clickers. We had to sit there and turn. Yeah, it and I, I'd sit there in front with a bowl of uh, Cheerios or corn flakes, and you know, I had this big bowl, and I would just literally, I was glued to the television, glued. And I mean, I used to direct my action figures. So yeah, I mean, really, I didn't just play toys. I, you know, I told stories, and I've been writing since I was, you know, very young. So this my, was my something. Was a writer. She was a big uh, children's book writer. So. So you had you guys have had this this uh, in your body since you were a little kid. Oh, uh, eat, eat, breathe the business. So yeah. it's like you're Every overnight. Aspect. You're you're on the way to becoming or already becoming overnight <laughs> sensations, but it's just taken thirty years to get there. Yeah, very true. Very true. <laughs> right? yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But hey, you know, better late than never. And yeah. I got a late start, so which 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 is I'm just blessed to have such a great community of people that that brought me in and spent time with me because I didn't even get to LA till I was twenty eight. Um, is there any formalized training between you guys? Did you go to uh, like uh, film school or acting I went to school? school yes. You went to film school. Right. How about you, Michael? Did you? Get I a didn't lot of actually training? take any type of film school or anything like that. You know, I just like been in the business. Everything right. I've done has been hands on. And so you've learned as you've gone. Yeah, I've learned. Yeah, man, I've been doing this since you know I'm a disco kid. You know, right. I remember were, thirteen yeah. years well, old kid. hanging out in yeah. Studio Fifty Four. Yeah, you know, my, you know all yeah. Well, weren't you yeah. like a uh, a uh, a Chippendales dancer one yeah, time? Come on now. 
about that. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Not the Chippendales, but a form of Chippendales. Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait. What's a form of Chippendales? You see how the metal is just talking? I mean, I mean, a form with Chippendales. of a Chippendales is just a bunch of group of guys going around dancing and touring. And, yeah, oh, yeah. Driving, like like driving the ladies Magic crazy. Mike, right? Magic yeah, Mike. Exactly. I was, that, you could have been a you know, Magic Mike. I think In that, fact, they should have cast you as Magic Mike. I think they did. I think they somebody stole my name and said, you know, this reminds me of Magic Mike. <laughs> and uh, here you go. They had a big damn, you know, whatever. But it's all good. It's yeah, all good, yeah, you know? yeah. Well, that was a that was in the past, right? Yeah, that was in the past, man. <laughs> I, I've saying? done. I've done know. just about. You I don't know, know about Tatum that. Was actually a male stripper. That's why he did Magic Mike. So I mean, even if it's yeah. in the past, it can always. Come it doesn't into matter. Stories. I mean, look at Tra look at Tracy Lord. She was a porn star yeah. actor, and look what happened to her. Exactly. You, know? you know. I mean, uh, I don't know how it's we're we're getting down to this level. I have to take my money. What I mean by that though is definitely whatever you do in the past is going to come to your present when it comes to storytelling. That's the beautiful thing. thing. The beautiful thing about the entertainment business is that that's it really doesn't wrong, matter. Uh, yeah, that's that's the wrong one, man. That is. I don't yeah. know what Michelangelo <laughs> that is, man. He, He's know. some fake DJ. What, what no, you, I'm private. Are you because having, I'm private. Uh, yes. Just put it private. I can, I can throw them on. Space Angelo. Angelo. Well, I want to bring it up because I want to put it on camera. Yeah. Yeah. And then A-N-G-L-O. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I got. Or you can, yeah. Uh, you can't miss the guy's face, so just see all. Probably because I got it on private. That's what it is. Uh, yeah, there it is, right there. There he is, right there, right there, right there. There, yeah. Okay. Yes. They found it. Okay, you see, this is where we need a woman here. You know why? Because women kind of will take control and say, oh, "No, go right there, right now." And we can't. But when you have a bunch of guys trying to figure out something, oh, it's like you know. So what, what do you want to <laughs> say? Go to my Facebook page if you want you the know. information. Don't we, don't know, forget, we don't know what to do. Don't forget. It'll be it'll be three or four down. All the shirtless pics. Oh, yeah, there's all the shirtless pics of Michael. Oh, there he is. Former Chippendale dancer. That's right. I don't care. That's us at one of the Oh, no, I didn't even know that. Yeah, that's us at Couture. Oh, look at that. Now, wait a minute. I don't think he's retired. Look at that. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't think exactly. I think he's still doing Chippendale. I got proof of all photos, man. I wish I was. I wouldn't be so damn broke. You know, there's an old there's an old cliche there's an old cliche about being broke and poor yeah it's okay it's okay to be broke but you're never poor because poor is a state of lifestyle state and of lifestyle. being yeah. being broke is yeah. just an attitude towards money i right. love it that's yeah, an old cliche there so you're a you wise know. man I don't feel like no, I'm just. I'm just. <laughs> I'm just years, I can see it. What, what, see it in there. I don't know what I'm looking for. The invitation. You're looking for oh, the, the invitation. invitation. Yeah. You're just going through the photos. I enjoyed it because I, I didn't get to see those photos. So. <laughs> Thank you. Thank well, you. I don't know why. You got it. access to my Facebook. I'm not a social media kind of guy, man. Well, neither am I, man. I'm an OG, but I have to put it. I'm a, I'm a introvert. It's a picture, right? Not it's an invitation. Go to events. I guess you would go to events, maybe. I need Spider-Man. Oh, you'll figure it out. Timeline. Yeah, go to timeline, man. It's got it's right on the timeline. That's where I was. Well, then you got to go down a little farther. It's 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 there somewhere. Anyway, anyway, so www.thepowervoices.com. Uh, now we're archiving this show, so uh, if you want to watch it afterwards, you can check out YouTube Live, The Power Voices, at Facebook.com, straight on the point. Uh, Jesse Torero and The Power of Voices. There we go. Uh, there's a close. poster. Get You're getting no, close. Got to go going. down. Keep going. Keep going. There. Now you'll get it. You'll get it. It's coming up. It's far, far down. That's right. So, uh, and uh, Instagram Live, thanks a lot for checking in with us. We still got more to talk about. One of the things I, I did want to chat about it, was there something uh, when, you, when you were shooting? Well, let, let, let me back up here a second. This is the teaser. This is the trailer. Now, uh, are you in the process at this point right now in completing the film? The thing is, we have over, uh, I would say about 90% of the, the project was already shot. We we're just missing some of the big action sequences. Right. Like, um, there's a huge shit out of the mansion where, where they kind of um, go capture the drug lord. So we're just missing the big action sequences. But all the, the dramatic parts and the scenes that are character-based are pretty much shot. So I'd say. So it's just you got some pickups to do. And, really? And yeah, some kind of pickups and it'll be done. But, you know, at this point now we're going to move forward. Uh, we're going to start writing the episodes and get, you know, uh, three or four episodes on our Because belt. this is a TV show. Uh, this yeah, is a cable yeah, show. This is not a film. This is a 13-week yeah. series, a thirteen week series, right? Yeah. To tell, to tell well, the whole story. Ten, ten it's episodes. one of the things that we constantly disagree on. But yeah. it's, it's, he wants it to be a show, it's a show. Yeah. Right. No, that's right. not it. No. Jo, jo, if you are you friends with him, I think that's why you can't see it. If not, if you go to my page because I was tagged in it, it will show up even if you're not my friend. Uh, my, Nicholas, uh, N I C H. We'll see your folks later. Oh, Thanks for coming. Remember, 
Go to my Facebook. Nathaniel. You all additional information. There you go. Events. Yes, we're still Jesse here, though. Right go over to Facebook.com forward slash Jesse Terrero. Okay, we're not leaving yet. We're still here, so we, we got, got time. time. Baby. We got time. What's your last thing? Uh, Nathaniel. Uh, and and you, uh, in a simple, simple way. Yeah, the simple way. The simple way. Keep it simple, stupid, right? First, first Kiss? One. Absolutely. Oh, anyway, go, you know, above me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's not on mine either if you're not my friend. Well, I thought because they tagged me, it'd show up. I don't know what the fuck is the issue. The shit is on, like, the top of my page. <laughs> yeah, I brought well, it up just fine. Yes, uh, I said a friend, 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 friend was... A friend that, uh, Did you? I'll request. accept it right now. Okay, cool. I'll knock that out, and then you'll be able to see it. Because I was recently tagged. And then if you go to the event, right... Yeah, yeah, I got you just fine right here. So it's the Independent Cinema Foundation and Festival. Well, let's Academy. talk about it. Let's talk about this yeah. this show let's, coming let's up here. So it. here it is. All right, so we got the uh, we got the yeah, after that's, party. That's, that's the after party. Okay, let's talk about the after party real quick because this is uh, this is going to be a big it's event. Now. The after party is the uh, is is the uh, what day is the after party again? Same night. Same night. June nineteenth. Okay, and. Uh, it's uh, it's going to be celebrating your win with the award and the birthday. I got a feeling that God is going to bless me on that evening. Are we going to see the redemption process there? Yes, we're going to show that, and we're also going to show some additional footage of the behind the scenes and some stills. Oh, good. Like yeah, so we're going to get some. We're going to give people, and we're, we've released some some footage uh, on the redemption process uh, Facebook page as well. Right. So if, if people go to that, they can see actually additional footage. And, you know, we're just, as we're getting closer and closer to the day, we're le right. releasing more and more stuff. You right. Know what I mean? So people get, you know, get a little, tease them, you know, we're teasing them, we're giving them crumbs, you know, leading them, right. lead them to the promised land. So the next step is to get full distribution. Yes, absolutely. We already have some offers as far as that. Right. You know, there are several offers on the table, um, but, you know. We'll see how that goes. You know, everything is a negotiation, and I'm just trying to do the best thing that I could possibly do for, for not just for my for, for our team, because this is again, uh, well, power went out. What happened? Oh, we got power going out probably in the city. <laughs> that the top of the page, brother. Yeah. Hey, we're in the dark. That's right. So uh, it's time. Oh, it's time to turn on the lights. Hey, hands off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, I know you're a freak. Uh, yeah, well, you know, what can I tell you? That's that's strange. All right, we'll go on outside. We'll just sit here in the dark. Can we, can we take a break? I've been in the, no, we're, we're on, man. We're, we're, we're just on? keep talking, man. Just now, keep now, going, now, now, it's, now it's, Even in the dark. Now it's going. radio, you yeah. see. Now it turns into radio. Now this is what I expected. Nice, yeah, this, comfy, this, cozy yeah, on the radio. Right. Absolutely, I like that. Yeah, you got to fix your lighting. Yeah. It's too bright. Yeah. 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 It's, 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 it's a little too bright, isn't it? Too bright. It is too dark, man. We can put on some of the slow jam. Hey, listen, Michael, I don't need to see the G-string, okay? Thank you. All right. We yeah, we're starting to get it into it now, you know, in that respect. So, so we got full distribution possibly coming, and uh, and which that'll be the next step. Do you see yourself? There's a lot of Spanish in this in this in this uh, show. Spanglish. The Spanglish. So that yeah. that's going to be unique and interesting because that's becoming popular now in America. The Spanglish. Yeah. Uh, as it as merges and uh, like Telemundo and stuff, you're seeing in Univision, you're starting to see more English mm -hmm. Spanish type shows uh, where they're mixing up, especially all across radio. You, you, you hear it. Uh, I agree. You know, and so that's a, that's a whole nother market. I'm it's curious. sort of like Repo Man. Remember Repo yeah. Man? They, uh. they could not go to uh, TV. And the, re and, the, and the reason, we just lost it all. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> The whole building is down. Yeah, but I you mean, know, you know what's not down? We're just too much fire to stay on. Time, 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 time for a break. We're not down over there. We're not down over there. We got, we got, fate. We got Instagram. We're, we got. We can't even there. see us, we got man. More connection. Yeah, but you know what? Yeah, we're, we're <laughs> I gotta down. smoke some weed. I, we're too much fire. Yes, watch. Oh no, you got it. Stay here. Shine the light over here. This is great. I love it. I gotta smoke some weed. Shine it over here. Shine it over here for a second. No, it's not over there. There it is. Shine it over. Too much fire to be on there, baby. Oh my God. We're doing Jesse Chandler. Uh, right here. We don't lost power, folks. <laughs> over here. It's getting okay. scary. Give me, call the boss, man. Huh? Give me a light over here. Watch what I do. You stay there and keep talking, Nicholas. Okay. All right. All right. right here. Right here. Give me a light right here. You need another light? Watch what happens. I got a light. Right here. I got a light. Right I mean, here. I got a light. If people could talk I back, I would talk. And I got batteries. I'm ready to go. Come on, man. I'm always ready. Top of your shit. 
Man, you never know what happened. Oh! Pop came back on. Back on. All right, well, we'll back on. Get back in there. Get back in there. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I was trying to escape, man. Yep. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you're draining me, Jesse. You're draining me, homie. All right. Jesse T is draining me, folks. You see this? You should have brought some more special guests so they can talk. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, I'll just start talking. <laughs> yeah, he'll go forever. Jesse yeah. will go forever. Like the ever ready bunny. Well, you see, this is what I actually this is what I was doing. I was just putting my light together. Oh, yeah. Like there we go. It's good to be prepared. Always good to be prepared. Ooh. I think that's enough light, huh? That's a lot of light. Wow. Right there. Yeah, yes, we, we could don't need it now. Yeah, turn, probably yeah, turn the lights off. We don't <laughs> need the lights anymore. <laughs> All right, so we're back up here. So uh, uh, a couple of good things uh, have happened here, and one of the thing is we got to see these guys act in real life. So you know mm. this is how they really act. <laughs> I have been very relaxed. You've I been very good. That. I got I got to tell you. He's really uptight. He's natural. Lincoln. He is absolutely natural. Mike, say over here. I'm trying to get the fuck. The place is falling apart, Jesse. Uh, Jesus Christ. That's that's not my room. Yeah, I just don't know how to use it. That's all. <laughs> all right. So it. let's recap. Okay. So we have uh, we have the show coming up. Where the award show is coming up, and then we have the after party, which you're which you're handling. It's going to be uh, you're going to show redemption process with some extra footage, and it's going to be a packed house, guys. So you've got to get there. It is just going to be. It really is going to be packed. Get your tickets and, now. And uh, and then uh, obviously you're going to be have some entertainment there. I would imagine. Yeah, we're going to have. Yeah, we got some entertainment. I don't want to say who because yeah, it's right. going to be a little surprise. But right. it's going to be cool. It's going right. to it's going to be a lot of fun, man. You know, we just want our, our closest uh, our friends and colleagues and, uh, you know, to come down and just kind of celebrate with us, and you know, on, on a real, you know, special night for us. And, and you know, we're just, we're just content, man. We're really happy. Everybody's excited. And it's going to be good to just, you know, get everybody pumped up again and go to the next phase and see what happens from there. And just, you know, just keep it moving, man. You know what I mean? We yeah. just got to keep moving, keep getting out there, keep talking to people, keep doing interviews. Keep throwing events, you know, whatever it takes, man, right. until everybody sees what we got, and then move the microphone, and Hold then in front uh, of you. hopefully, uh, you in know, front of you, every, in front of you. Oh, everything will, uh, you know, everything yeah. will go well from there. So, so now, what's after this? Uh, after redemption process, what's what's happening now? And other projects that you may have coming up that you want to talk about, if you want to. I just finished directing my passion project, um, Awakening, which deals with a woman coming back from Afghanistan, and um, she has PTSD, so she's kind of reconnecting with her family. Mm -hmm. Um, brilliant cast. I had Carrie Mark and uh, Gayana Char, and just just amazing, brilliant. It was just it was just a lot of fun to be able to do my passion project. Um, so that's done. We're about to submit that to festivals soon. Um, and Michael, you've got the uh, reality show you're doing. Yeah, we do the reality thing, and I'm already uh, taking notes and starting to kind of uh, work out a little sketch uh, for my next project, right. which is called, called Rum Boys. Now, who's who's writing most of the redemption process? Is it you two guys, or you have yes? You're, you're, you're yeah. how's that? Is that a, a process that's pretty easy for this project, or is it? Are you tug of war in a little bit? On I that? he kind of gives me a. I mean, he talks about the overall, right? And I just take it and put it into the actual the details, minute yeah. details and, and give him the dialogue and yeah. the movements and kind of create the world. So. It's not hard at all. I mean, he usually agrees with what I right. go with, and I agree with where he's trying to take things, and it's just pretty simple. Um, as things get bigger, of course, we'll have a writing room, and he can run that and figure out how he wants to control the writers. Right, but right. Not hard at all. Um, yeah, writing is real important, especially in a project like this, because yes, yes. if you get if you get off a little kilter, you just get off off a little in the wrong direction, it changes everything. Very valid. And it's a very niche kind the of. The characters are so cool. I mean, the characters are so expressive in their own like. Yeah, I like that I girl kicking butt them, in there in the red dress. She and was I just kicking let them butt. Write. I just, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like whether it's it's Santos or Moto or, or any of the characters, I just kind of let they they speak for me. So it's very easy to kind of write who they are because they have so much backstory, so much history, and so much their little nuances and it's like it's just uh, it's easy. It's because they are who they are. They bring themselves alive. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely, absolutely. Well, you know, look at you guys got a passion for this. I think it's a great project. I've been uh, the first time you brought it to me. I, I, you showed me little pieces of it, and you were secretive then too. But you did show me, and I said, "Oh, that's some good work. That's some really good Thank work." You. And it's yeah, and really it's it. it's like growing. Said, you, you know, it's you, growing though. That's yeah. the beauty of this. From the day one, when I first uh, had the opportunity to see what was mm -hmm. going on, it has it has it has grown. 
in uh, people watching it, liking it, and liking also you guys have grown in the project yeah. and what you wanted to do with it and your intention. Well, Michael Hines has been working real hard. Yeah. He's been pushing, he's been on the grind. Um, and it wasn't easy for you guys to get here. I know my, I know a little bit of Michelangelo's story, you know, and, and uh, you know. That's another interview. That's, that's, another, that's, <laughs> that's another, another interview. That's another interview. <laughs> but I did, on the short it side. It hasn't been easy, yeah. On the short side, it, it hasn't been easy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you pay the dues in this business in many ways other than doing uh, 500 commercials or doing soaps for six years or, or working, not working. You, there's a lot of dues to be paid in different ways. It's all part of the same process. Well, there's a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of emotional and spiritual and physical right. uh, energy that takes uh, to, do, to, you know, to do anything in this business. Really. One of my seafoods I mean, told yeah. me once, he said, you're never allowed to go to the next level until, until you're ready. To go to the next level. Right. You it's, may think you're ready, but it's a simple you're not. Statement. It's a simple statement, but it's extremely and, and it's very, true. It's very yeah. true. And I try not to rush my I try not to rush my career. And I think we try to pace things. And Michelangelo's amazing because he allows me to focus on other projects. Right. And I've been able to direct a lot of other things right. and not have to just be restricted to one thing. And he, I mean, it's it's yeah, it's great. It's, yeah, everything's o great. <laughs> Olivier <laughs> said Olivier <laughs> said that an actor, anybody in the arts, has to continue working. So if you're not working on stage, sure. if you're not writing, if you're not directing, um, it, it, go to the park and sing a song for people. Mm. Uh, learn an instrument, paint, sculpt, uh, uh, draw, uh, dance. Do something in the art form that allows your talent to constantly come out and constantly grow. That's what one of the greatest actors oh, of the yes. 20th century said. Yeah, he said, you have to be working all the time, whether you're getting oh, paid, yeah, you to, laid, yeah. or made. That's it right. doesn't matter. You have to, yeah. You laid have or to, made, yeah. you've got to keep working. And it you has guys to are, become your life. Yeah, just, you, you just keep working. Life, you know, and it's hard, you know, especially for relationships. Well, there is no relationship. <laughs> the only relationship you have is the relationship exactly, you have exactly. with what you're doing. And, you know, and that's what it is, man. you got to eat, live, and breathe this, this business, man. And, and I've been doing that all my life, and I think I will continue to do that all my life because I really don't see myself doing anything else or and I just I just have so much inside me that I just want to I want to see it and I want everybody else to see it and it's difficult I mean for me as an artist like I, I I'm a little crazy in that way so like I'll lock myself in a room for months and not yet it's not answer any calls or I just well, get really weird and that's crazy, not weird you know? look at what Sister <laughs> Stallone did I yeah, mean so. he goes to a Webner uh, Ali fight in Madison Square Gardens, Wepner gets knocked down for the first time by Ali. The first time in his 25-year career, he sees this white guy fighting a black guy, and he goes home, gets inspired, and for three days he locks himself in his room and he writes Rocky One, the Rocky script. And then he got turned down 400 times, and he had to sell his dog. And he, and he, and he was, they were going to give him $350,000. Uh, it, we're talking with, 1978 dollars. With, with, okay, yeah. with, and, him, with him, with him being in it. Yeah, with him. And he said no. no. He stuck to his guns. Yeah, yeah exactly. And, and That's he, how I feel. This he is my got Rocky. 35 thousand. Yeah, this is my Rocky. I've turned down offers already. I've turned down several offers. Right. Uh, you know, even having to do with you know. Yeah. Who are you, Michelangelo? We want this player. We yeah. want this player. Right, right. No, this is my project. Exactly. And I don't exactly. care who I am yeah. or who you think I am. Yeah. I'm going to do it. That's the attitude, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I'm sticking to my guns all the way to to, to the end. You know what I mean? I uh, the people that I I got involved. The people that 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 you know really support me. I'm lo I feel loyalty is a big thing. I feel that you know if you connect with certain artists and you know you have a chemistry, I think that will take us very far. And I like to you know stick with that. I like to you know stick with something that works. You know, obviously there will be other people that will come you know down the line and stuff like that. But for right now, what what I have, I think it's a blessing. I enjoy it. I want to see everyone flourish in every arena. Because I think I want to be that person to say, hey, you know what? We got catapulted because we were Michelangelo. And we were yeah. true. I mean, the fact is, after yeah. Two, yeah. two years or three years, whatever it gets to be, everybody's still together, still part. Like, neither of us, me or Michelangelo, is a walk in the park, I guess you could say, to deal with. But he is the realest and probably the most loyal person I've, I've met in many, many years. Like, well, you know, uh, when you, as we get to the end of the show and, and we kind of button up here, the creative process is not a process that is supposed to be easy. Mm -hmm. The creative process is a process that has has no life until you start creating it. And in that process of, of developing it, going from A to B, that journey right there, there's a fight mm -hmm. to get to B. And because it's not like going on an assembly line and you're putting you know rivets in the side of a Ford F-150, where every day it's the same thing. Boom, boom. This, this process changes that 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 space in there, 
And that tug of war happens in the creative process. You know, yeah, it's part of what makes it right, I think. You I've are a wise, been. wise, wise man. And, and you've said a lot of stuff today I've never heard, and it just really hit home. But <laughs> it's a smart when man. it comes to, you know, I made it sound easy, like, oh, you know, we just start writing. It's, it's, it's natural. It's easy. But it's, it's, you're right. When it gets from point A to B, that's the hard part. When you're trying to survive and pay the bills, and it is hard to get from sitting down and putting words on paper. Now, once you get into it, it flows. That's right. what I meant by it's easy. But you're right. Getting there or getting to the creative process or finding the right people to even get things started is nearly right. impossible. That's right. the hard part. You're right. Yeah. yeah. And then the stick to it <clears throat> of it all. Yeah. That's why that, that I always had this fantasy when Johnny Carson was still doing the talk show. It's how far back I go when the Dead Sea was alive. But uh, I have this fan. I always had this fantasy. I was going to be sitting on the, the right of Johnny, and Johnny was going to ask me, "God, you're an overnight sensation." I was, and I always had this idea. I said, "Yeah, I was an overnight sensation. It took me 50 years to get there." And my first agent. I'll tell you the story about my first agent. I went in there. I read the three things. Did a classic piece. Did a comedy. Did a monologue. He loved me. Fine, signed me up. My first agent in this town. And uh, I started going a bunch of commercials. Got a bunch of commercials, right? But I wasn't getting any TV. There was not a lot of this independent stuff when I was coming mm. through. I was getting a few films and not a lot of TV. A lot of TV, not a lot of TV, but a lot of commercials, voiceovers, of course, because radio. And then I started mm. getting some TV projects, see, but no films, no films. I was losing out on films, not enough films. So I went in there, I'm pissed off after a year. How come I'm not getting any films? And he's sitting there looking out the uh, fifth story of his building in, mm. in the valley over Universal Studios. And, and, I, and I walked in and I said to Mr. Schumann, I said, uh, you know, I need to talk to that barge right past the, mm. the receptionist, just did what I had to do, and I walked in there, and he's, he's reading a script, so I said, excuse me, uh, this is Jesse, he goes, yeah, I know, I know, I go, how come I'm not getting any, any films, and so he turns around, and he hands me this script, right, his wife comes in, he hands me this script, and he goes, this film's perfect for you, and I went, Okay, yes. some agent BS? No, okay. So I take the film, the script, I look at it, and it's in freaking Braille. My first <laughs> agent was blind. So the testament to my talent oh after my a year, gosh. right? My oh first my agent goodness. was blind. I had the first blind agent in Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, blind agent. So, that, you, you, talk about a, up, you talk about a rude awakening to your talent, right? Yeah. I went like... Damn, I can't even kick this guy's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy, right? Wow. So I just, I bobbed my head and walked out and I said, I'm going home. <laughs> wow. You got but, some crazy stories. Yeah, stories but, but that's wow. the kind of stuff that makes you successful. So part of the journey, man. Of so part of the journey. All right. So look at I appreciate you guys coming in. Thank we you. had we had God interfering with us today, but we still prevailed on pre, on Periscope. That's we right. still prevailed on live stream. Right. Um, we had some Instagram still prevailing. It, it buzzed off already because they only give you an hour on mm -hmm. Instagram Live. They're the ones. We had Facebook gone. We lost some of our feed, but that's all right. We and just we keep made it slopping through. through the mud, that's right? right? We still right? made it through. Yeah, absolutely. And you know the best of luck. Uh, to you here. In fact, so one uh, last plug is yeah, the Summer give it. Awards. Okay, it's the Summer Awards Black and White Bash, uh, held by the Independent Cinema Foundation and Festival Academy Corporation, and they're the ones who uh, nominate us for Best Trailer, and uh, that's going to be taking place at six three five six Hollywood Boulevard in Los Angeles. Nine double zero two eight is the uh, area code. That's going to start red carpet at 7 o'clock, goes to midnight, and then uh, after midnight, if anybody's interested in going to the after party, that's what I'll be producing and celebrating my birthday, Nicholas and Daniel's birthday, and hopefully the win of the best trailer. Right on, God, man. God willing. So there hey. it is there, man. I love it. Be, be successful. I want to sell you a house. Thank and you, you too. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for uh, all your love and support. Absolutely, brother. I appreciate, Absolutely, brother. Brother. I appreciate it, man. You, Thanks all for coming in. We're going to be there broadcasting live, too. Uh, uh, and so we'll bring you some feeds there and uh, make it happen there at both of those events. Check us out right here at Facebook.com forward slash Jesse Torero and the Power Voices and YouTube Live. We're archiving everything. Hey, you've been in the world according to Torero. Now you're straight on the point. Mm. The Brown Beauty is off duty. Bam! See ya! <laughs> uh, well, thank you, man. <laughs>